at the end of the day, you're black. Blackity black black. Drip, 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 so what they can't stand it. Drip so what they can't stand it. Drip so what they can't stand it. Dripping on on another planet, uh. What's good y'all? It's your girl Britt, aka Britt the Boss, and we are back with another video. Today, you know, I'm not doing nothing. It's what is today, Monday? It's Monday, I'm not doing nothing. I just decided to come on here because I haven't been on here in a while, respectfully. Granted, everything going on, I didn't feel the need to post a new makeup look or update y'all on my life because there's, there's stuff going on that's way more important than me or bigger than me right now. And I really hope all of my followers and subscribers are really taking action with everything that's going on, signing petitions, donating, protesting, speaking out, educating those that aren't educated on the topic, which they should be, and that's a shame. But I really hope y'all are doing that because it's time, it's really time. You know, it's 2020. I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would be here having to see this on TV and going through this now in 2020. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is the stuff, you know, people my age have seen in movies and their grandparents or great-grandparents has told us about you. We would have never thought that it will come back around full circle, but I guess what goes around comes around. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I just thought today would be a, a really chill chit-chat, get ready with me. I'm not doing too much, not doing nothing crazy on the face. I am trying uh, two new products. Well, not really new, but, well, yeah, it is new, sorry. Three new products. But I just ordered this from Sephora. I got the NARS uh, Longwear. Somebody's wear. Um, makeup. I also got the concealer. Y'all know I used the concealer before. And if y'all see my dog in the back, she's laying down on her bed. Um, and then I also tried Fenty Beauty's bronzer. Um... I tried to record this video yesterday and it just, I don't know, I, I was just so like angry that I feel like my thoughts were so scattered, but you know, I'm clear minded today, I'm chill, so we gonna be chill. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my edges off camera real quick, as you can see, if I got her some not list, period. Um, I'm doing my edges and my eyebrows off camera and then I'll be back. So our eyebrows and our eyelids are done. And like I told y'all, I'm not doing too much. Only because I'm not I'm not feeling too much right now. So I'm probably just gonna keep it simple. One shade on the shad on the one shade on the shadow. One shade on the eyelid, maybe a little shimmer. But, you know, the whole point of this, like I keep saying, is just to chat with y'all, let y'all know how I'm feeling. Like, I really hope that um, you all are taking the time to basically exhale. Like, I wrote a status on Twitter, like, today was the first time I exhaled in a week. Because it's, it's very overwhelming, like, between the news, between the social media, it's a lot, it's everywhere you turn, even when you go outside, like, you know what I mean? I really hope everyone's taking care of their mental health and just finding a way to escape everything that's going on. But don't forget to check back in because we need you. You know what I mean? Like, I think what bothers me the most is the fact that, you know, people, not just white people, but you know, people are t are kind of like telling us how we supposed to feel. You can't tell anybody how to feel when they're, especially you can't tell anybody what to do when they're angry. You can't expect anybody how to feel. So that's why I totally get people that are protesting. I even understand the riots. Do I condone the riots and the looting and stuff? No. Are they angry? Yes. Do I understand that they're angry? Yes. That's just like when you're in school and you're getting bullied and you tell the teacher, the teacher's not trying to hear you. 
and after a while you get sick of it and you get angry and you decide to fight back and that's exactly what's going on right now that is exactly what's going on right now i actually got the opportunity to go to a protest and in in a sense in a sense it's kind of scary because it's, it feels like you're really in a movie like we're really here fighting for human rights rights we should be entitled to you know what i mean and then another part of me just felt comfortable like I, I was happy i was there because there's people that look like me even those who don't look like me but understand and want to fight for us there's people there that want to make change and i just felt you know after being there i just felt comfortable i even had to take a step back and just like wow like i can't believe i'm here i can't believe this is really going on right now it's it's a lot and nobody will understand like nobody will understand nobody should be able to tell us how to feel about it how you gonna tell somebody how to feel if you ain't never been through it you know what i mean like it's not just it's not just one bad cop or a couple bad cops you know what i mean those who stand by and watch it that's what i'm saying like a lot of people are saying you know f the cops and this and, this and that and so on and so forth there are good cops there are but let's not forget the cops that see all this stuff going on and don't say anything at all you're just as at fault as the person who actually did it because you sat there and watched it and you didn't do anything about it we need to start holding people accountable we really do like we really do even even ourselves like as black people we need to hold ourselves accountable we are so divided as as a community we are so divided especially when it comes to colorism and stuff like that y'all really think while we're at battle with ourselves that they care the amount of melanin that's in our skin when their knee is on our back or in our neck you think they care if you're just a little bit lighter than you we're all black we need all the support we can get you know what i mean and when it comes to support me being a youtuber you know and loving makeup and stuff like that i grew up watching you know the jeffree stars the this the nikita dragons the uh jacqueline hills the this the, that the blah 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 and it kind of it kind of bothers me that a lot of them were quiet with all this going on and had and didn't post anything until we had to say something your silence is noticed you appropriate our culture from time to time y'all fight to say the n-word but y'all not fighting for us when you clearly see injustice going on like i just like with all this going on it really just made me want to do this youtube stuff even more you know what i mean like i want to use my voice for good i don't just want to use it to make money or for clout or you know i just don't want likes on instagram i could care less about likes on instagram i'd rather you actually hear what i have to say understand and move forward let's make change you know what i mean did i put on my face i think i did this wing i ain't never did a wing like this <laughs> I think another thing that blows me is the fact that a lot of these uh, influencers are literally going out there to protest for a photo op. That right there grinds my gears. I like to not. Because it's like, you, you dead ass right now. And that was another take on you know how i felt about you know these youtubers not speaking out granted i know not everyone has the words to put together to speak out i know a lot of people aren't educated on certain topics to speak out and i totally understand that like i i get it i get it 110 percent. but there are other ways to support there's a lot of people that can't go out there and protest. You know what I mean? For those who are protesting, I thank you. There's a lot of people who can't. You know what I mean? Or just 
are able to. But let's not forget that there's other ways to support the movement. There's funds that you can donate to. There's petitions you can sign. There's, there's a lot that you can do. Numbers you can call. And I probably might leave some in the description box for y'all. Now is also to find the time to educate ourselves, you know what I mean? Educate those who need, who need it. And educate without belittling. I see so much condescending stuff on Twitter that it just makes people not even want to be a part of the movement. That's not what we want to do. You know what I mean? We want to encourage people to be a part of it, inform them, do not belittle them. And it's okay to change your opinion or your views on certain things after getting, you know, proper information. It's okay to have an opinion. It's okay to change your opinion. You know what I mean? That whole all lives matter thing, you're right. All lives matter, all lives should matter. You know what I mean? They should matter. All lives, black, blue, orange, green, black, white, you know, they should matter. Do they? No. And that's the whole reason for the Black Lives Matter movement. Like a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people think that we're trying to put ourselves above others or whatever the case may be. But Black Lives Matter is not for that. George Floyd is not the first. Breonna Taylor wasn't the first. Ahmad wasn't the first. Trayvon wasn't the first. Clearly our lives don't matter. So we had to come up with something so y'all could see that our lives do matter. I read something the other day that was like, and it's so funny, but it's true as fuck. Like, while I'm saying all lives matter, for you to say, I mean, sorry, back that up. For, while I'm saying black lives matter, right? For you to say all lives matter while I'm saying that is basically like interrupting Martin Luther King's I had a dream speech to say that you had a dream. We not on you right now. Now's the time to, you know, invest in black businesses, invest in black wealth, we need to come back stronger than ever. I'm telling y'all. If y'all know of any black businesses, comment them on this video. Because I definitely will have some links in the description box for black owned businesses. Lashes, shades. I know somebody for everything. Lashes, shades, nails, clothes. What you need? Skincare, makeup, lip gloss. Like, we could, we could go. Y'all, these lashes are OD. Like, you can't even see the makeup I put on underneath. Thank God I'm not going nowhere because I look like snuffled up with this. But whatever. <laughs> but, yeah. Y'all, my heart was broken. Let me tell y'all. So, I love me some Trina. I love Trina to the, I really do. But sis, the barked up the wrong tree just just to see and this is not just for her like a lot of these influencers and celebrities and blah 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 think that this stuff that's going on can't happen to them because of the money girl please they could care less about your money at the end of the day you're black. Blacky, black, black. Yeah, these gotta go. Yeah, I'm sorry, baby girl. Can't do those. Okay, y'all, so this is 10 times better. Like, you can actually see the makeup under, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I only own, like, dramatic lashes. Like, I mean, if you are a lash brand and you watch my videos, send me some natural-ish lashes like i still want to be a baddie don't give me no baldies but you know yeah this is such a pretty contour shade because it's just so like light it's not like doodle stain right here like y'all know them females that be having like a dark i guess 
my face is so you look good period so we're gonna try our new fancy beauty bronzer and coco naughty I love bronzer. I don't care what nobody say. I'd rather bronzer over contour any day. Okay, y'all. So we are done. This is the face. We look so pretty. Y'all, if I hear my dog crying, please ignore her because she just decides to cry every time I turn this camera on. But um, y'all look at my braids. I got some knotless braids. I love them. If you're in the Richmond area, y'all go book with my girl Raven. I'll leave her information down below. But um, I just want to thank y'all for just sitting, if you made it this far, sitting and listening to me rant about, you know, current events and how I'm feeling. Make sure to take care of your mental health. Make sure to use your voice. Don't let last week be the only week or this week be the last week that we speak up on it. Black Lives Matter. Continue to donate. Continue to petition. Sign petitions. Continue to protest. Continue to use your voice because we are making a change. Slowly but surely, we are making a change. So y'all continue to do so. I will leave some petitions and funds that I find for y'all to donate to in my description box. But I just want to thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for subscribing. Y'all go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, like this video, share it. And just thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for letting me speak on this platform. Thank y'all for supporting me. 110%. I love y'all. And stay safe for the next video.